According to the 2012 estimate by the National Commission on Muslim Filipinos, or NCMF, there were 10.7 million Muslims in the Philippines. That is approximately 11% of the total population of the archipelago, composed of 7,107 islands. Most Muslims live in parts of Mindanao, Palawan, and the Sulu Archipelago, an area known as Bangsamoro or the Moro region, while some have migrated into urban and rural areas in different parts of the country. Islam was first brought by Arab traders in the late 13th and early 14th centuries, 200 years before the Spanish invasion. These Muslim merchants originally came from present-day Malaysia and Indonesia. They landed in Sulu Islands and preached Islam to the indigenous population and built the first mosque in the Philippines in the town of Simunul in Tawi-Tawi in the mid-14th century. The Islamic propagation reached as far as the Kingdom of Tondo in current-day Manila in Luzon in the northern Philippines. It is notable to see that there was no clear record of armed conquest made by the Muslims against the local people and it seemed that they embraced Islam voluntarily. Muslims believe that the past Muslims were invited into Islam by the good manners possessed by the preachers towards Islam. Different states and colonies embraced Islam without being subjugated by a Muslim military. As time went on, the Muslims prospered under these Muslim states, which had trade relations with nearby islands and even far-off countries like India and China. By that time, the Philippines does not exist yet as a country, rather as a group of islands where different sultanates rule over different lands, where many of these are Muslim governments. The first attempt to conquer the Philippines was made by a Portuguese sailor working for Spain named Ferdinand Magellan in 1521. He is also known for leading the fleet of ships that is first to circumnavigate the world. He was able to convert some people to Christianity according to historians, but he failed in Christianizing and conquering Mactan and Cebu in the central Philippines when a local Muslim chieftain Lapu-Lapu led a counterattack against the superior fighting force of the Spaniards who were armored and wielded firearms. Lapu-Lapu led a group of warriors armed with machetes, sword, and bamboo spears and fought the well-armed and armored conquerors on the seashore. Lapu-Lapu killed Ferdinand Magellan, thus earning himself the title as the first Filipino freedom fighter. Lapu-Lapu is continually remembered today by having his silhouette used by the Philippine National Police in their official seal as a sign of bravery. When the Spanish returned to the Philippines in the mid-1500s, after the failure of Ferdinand Magellan to conquer Cebu, they conquered Manila, where they encountered more Muslims under the leadership of Raja Sulaiman, whose castle stood in the area now known as Intramuros. This discovery led them to call the Filipino Muslims as Moros, which is in reference to the Moors who occupied Spain for more than 800 years, whom they have recently conquered by invading Andalus or Muslim Spain. In 1575, the Spanish started spreading Catholicism in the Philippines through the use of missionaries. But these missions are often accompanied also by conquest and invasion, where the vanquished Filipinos are subjected to forced labor and other cruelties. This has been recorded in history as an era of human rights abuse that even the non-Muslim freedom fighters and the intellectuals like Jose Rizal and Andres Bonifacio tried to address. Though much of the Philippines converted, the Moros, however, stood firm in their faith. Great Muslim leaders such as Sultan Kudarat of Mindanao and Raja Sulaiman of Manila continued the legacy of Lapu-Lapu in their fight for freedom. Upon the fall of Muslim territories in Luzon and Visayas in the central Philippines, most Muslims fled to the Muslim strongholds in the area that is now known as Muslim Mindanao or Bangsamoro. The Moros have a history of resistance against Spanish, American, and Japanese rule for over 400 years. But now, since the cessation of hostilities between the government and the Muslims, the Moros are collectively known as progressive partners to peace and progress of the Philippine government. More than that, 
the Muslims are going farther in teaching the people the real message of Islam. Islam came from the Arabic root word aslama, which means to surrender, and another word salam, which means peace. Followers of Islam are called Muslims. A Muslim, therefore, is someone who surrendered himself to Allah and is at peace with his Lord and all other creations. Islam is not a new religion founded by Prophet Muhammad, according to many misconceptions. Rather, it is a monotheistic religion, which is the continuation of the message of the prophets and messengers from Adam, the first prophet up to Muhammad, the last and final prophet. Islam is not a new religion. It is the same message brought forth by David, Solomon, Jesus, and all the other prophets. They may have lived in different times, but they were sent for the same purpose, to teach us to worship the one true God, Allah, and avoid worshiping false deities. Islam has five pillars, testifying that there is no God worthy of being worshipped except Allah, establishing Salah, paying Zakah, fasting on Ramadan, and Hajj. Islam enjoins all good deeds which are upheld by humans to be morally upright, but the most moral of good deeds is the worship of the one true God. While the greatest sin is that we associate partners to Allah by worshipping others other than Him, all these are strictly enforced as Islam prohibits vice and other immorality such as cheating, fornication, and terrorism. Allah is the proper name of God, the Creator and Sustainer. He created the universe and all that exists. He sent the prophets and messengers and the revelations with them in order to teach mankind to worship Him alone without partners and to avoid the worship of other gods other than Allah and to teach us that which is upright and moral. There is no God worthy of being worshipped except Allah. Worshipping Him alone without partners is the purpose of creation. Although Christians call Him as God the Father or Lord, Allah is the same God who created the earth in the Bible. He is the same God that sent the prophets. Muslims believe in all the prophets and messengers including Adam, Noah, Abraham, Jesus, and the last prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad had miracles the same way other prophets were given the same by Allah in order for them to prove the validity and authenticity of their message. Prophet Jesus was given the miracle of healing while Moses divided the sea for them to cross as an example. The greatness of the Quran as a miracle is because it is an eternal miracle that we still witness until today. Quran is the most read book in the world and is the only book which is memorized by millions of people from cover to cover, which is a proof of Allah promise in the Quran itself that He shall protect it, proving that it is indeed the word of Allah. Recently, scientists, Muslims and non-Muslims alike discovered many scientific miracles in the Quran. The Quran has been speaking about geology, outer space, biology and others since it was revealed 1,400 years ago. A Muslim is a person who surrendered himself to Allah by acknowledging His oneness. He is also subservient to Allah by being obedient to Him and avoiding what He prohibited. He avoids any form of cooperation or having to do with worshipping anything or anyone other than Allah.